Hello everyone, how are you today? This is Mark. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. I'm visiting Milan for the first time this weekend. The train leaves at 5 p.m. I'd better hurry up. In this lesson, we're going to look at the difference between the present simple and the present continuous for the future. So stay tuned. Yes, let's talk about the present continuous and the present simple. However, if you want to watch lessons on the future, you may click here. If you want to watch a lesson on going to and will, click here. Like I said, in this lesson, we're going to look at the present continuous and the present simple for a future event. So let's start with the present continuous. Let me tell you that you need to remember the auxiliary for the present continuous. What is the auxiliary of the present continuous? Yes, that's right, the verb to be. So when we have the verb to be, we have the verb with an ing form or ing form. If you don't remember that, you should review the present continuous. There is a lesson on the present continuous on my playlist, so you may click here to watch that lesson. However, we use the present continuous for future arrangements, plans, or intentions. But how do you know is a future event? Well, you know that because there is the time expression or an adverb of time, like this afternoon, like tonight, like in 2020, next week, next month, next year, tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, etc. Let's look at my example. I'm visiting, I'm visiting Milan for the first time this weekend. So how do you know that's a future sentence? You know that there is for the first time and then you have also this weekend. Let's take a look at the second example. John is taking his friend out for a drink tonight. So what do we have here? Yes, the present continues. John is taking and then we have tonight the time expression. So these are more or less clear because you have the time expression at the end or at the beginning of a sentence, right? For example, we have A and B, two people. So A says, have you heard about Anna? Have you heard about Anna? And then she goes on, she says, she's moving to New York City. She's moving to New York City. So here she's moving. There is no time expression or adverb of time. And the other person says, really? Really? When? There. He's asking for the time, right? Next month. Next month. And that's when she places the, the time expression. Next month. So, have you heard about Anna? She's moving to New York City. The other person says, really? When? And then she says, next month. Okay, so that's an intention. So let's look at the second example. Do you know where you're staying at once in Toronto? The other person says, I'm staying with relatives once I get there. I'm staying with relatives once I get there. So here we have the first person said, do you know? Okay, so do you know? where you're staying at, you're staying, so this is not um, a question right there, uh, this is part of a question but it's not the question, so do you know is the question, do you know where you're staying at, where you're staying at once in Toronto, once in Toronto could be the future indicator, right, because I'm, if I'm talking to that person right now, that means that person is uh, with you, right? So it's not in Toronto. So once in Toronto, once he gets or he arrives um, to Toronto. So the other person would say, I'm staying, I'm staying, okay, with relatives, I'm staying with relatives once I get there and once I arrive there, once I get there. So you understand this is a future um, arrangement or plan or intention by the context. 
So I said context is very important and uh, expressions of time or adverbs of time are extremely important for the present continuous. Now let's take a look at the present simple. So for the auxiliary of the present simple, we use do or does. You remember that, right? I hope so. The auxiliary is used for negatives and interrogative sentences. What happens with positive sentences? Well, if it's the third person, you add S or ES. If you want to watch a lesson on the present simple, you may click here. When do we use the present simple for the future? For future scheduled events. Of course, the time expressions and adverbs of time are important, but they are not extremely important. So, the train leaves at 5 p.m. for Milan. So, here we have uh, at 5 p.m. Okay, see, so if I'm talking to you right now and it's 11 o'clock and I say the train leaves at 5 p.m. for Milan, I know that it will be the future, right? At 5 p.m. is later. So, obviously, at 5 p.m. is important. Here we have a schedule. So, a schedule is important. So, a time, right? Or a day or a date. Another example, my lesson starts at 10 a.m. today. We have the adverb of time today. So there is important today, right? But we, what is extremely important is the time at 10 a.m., which fixes the future, right? And is a schedule event. So is on a calendar. My lesson starts at 10 a.m. today. Let's look at another example. My flight for London takes off in an hour. Here we have a time expression, in an hour, and also, more or less, is a scheduled event because I said in an hour, right? An hour. So an hour is in the calendar. You can look at it and you can fix it right there. Verbs that are used, are frequently used with, uh, for a future uh, a scheduled event can be arrive, be, begin, close, depart, end, finish, fly, leave, open, start, etc. Careful though, they can be both easily mistaken. Future arrangement, present continuous, so once probably, right? A future arrangement is once. Present simple, scheduled fixed event, many times, right? On a calendar, it's on a daily basis maybe, or on a monthly basis, on a yearly basis. So they're fixed in a calendar. Just to see this difference, let's look at two examples with the present continuous. I'm seeing her tomorrow. Just once, tomorrow. I'm seeing her tomorrow. Tomorrow is the adverb of time and you know that is a future arrangement. Just once, I'm seeing her tomorrow. Versus, I see her every Friday. This is a habit, right? Every Friday I see her. So that means that there are many Fridays in a year and I see her every Friday. It's actually a routine. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or if you want to post your own example, just do so under this video. Don't forget to share the lesson if you liked it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Have a great week and see you next week with a new lesson. Take care. Bye-bye.